Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the modulus of subgrade reaction for the standard plate from load settlement uh, curve data of plate load test or plate bearing test. Okay, I have been given a question which states that a plate load test was conducted on a socket subgrade during monsoon season using a plate diameter of 30 cm. The load values corresponding to the mean settlement dial readings are given below. We have to determine the modulus of subgrade reaction for the standard plate. Okay, you can see the mean settlement values in mm and the corresponding load values in kg. Okay. So first, what is the modulus of uh, subgrade reaction? So modulus of subgrade reaction may be defined as the pressure sustained per unit deformation of subgrade at a specified deformation or pressure level using specified plate size. Okay, And the diameter of the standard plate for finding a K value or modulus of subgrade reaction is 75 centimeter or 750 mm. Okay, And uh, uh, modulus of subgrade reaction uh, is always a determined for a uh, settlement of 0 0.125 centimeter or 1.25 mm okay so the pressure um, corresponding to a settlement of 0 0.125 centimeter is red and the k value is calculated by the relation k value is given by uh, pressure divided by 0 0.125 uh, which is the settlement and its uh, value its uh, units are kg per centimeter cube okay so to find the modulus of subgrade reaction we will first draw the load settlement curve in excel and uh, from that curve we will find the load corresponding to the mean settlement of 0 0.125 centimeter uh, which will give us the uh, which will give us the pressure uh, corresponding to that settlement okay and after that we will find the modulus of subgrade reaction so let's move to excel to uh, draw the load settlement curve in Excel, you will uh, draw two columns. The first is the mean settlement values and second one is the load uh, values corresponding to the settlement values. Okay. After that, you will uh, select these two columns and then click on the insert. Go to the charts and select this scatter with smooth lines. Okay. Increase the size of the chart. Okay. And then uh, you will uh, delete the chart title, add the axis uh, titles. Okay, so for uh, horizontal axis, uh, you will write mean settlement values in mm. And for the vertical axis, you will write load values in kg. After that, you will make some modifications to the chart. Okay. So select the horizontal axis, double click on the horizontal axis. Okay. First, uh, change the units uh, minor from 0 0.04 to 0 0.05 because we have to find uh, settlement corresponding to uh, 0 0.125 centimeter or 1.25 mm. Okay, and make the tick marks visible for major and minor type. For major type, let it be cross, and minor type, let it be inside. Change the color from gray to black. Okay, it will make these tick marks visible more clearly okay and increase the thickness to 1.25 point and similarly for the vertical axis change the color from gray to black increase the thickness to 1.25 points and in the axis option uh, major and minor units let it be major 200 minor 40 and make the tick marks visible for major as cross and minor as inside okay uh, so this gives you the a chart uh, corresponding uh, to load uh, and settlement values okay now we have to find the uh, load value corresponding to the settlement of 1.25 mm which is here okay so what we, uh, we will do we will draw a line from uh, 1.25 mm okay it will cut uh, the straight line we will draw from 1.25 mm it will cut the curve at some point okay from that point you will 
draw a horizontal line which will cut the vertical axis at some point and this will be your load corresponding to a settlement of uh, 1.25 mm okay so here uh, for uh, uh, settlement of uh, uh, 1.25 mm okay so load corresponding to a settlement of 1.25 mm is this is 1400 it's uh, since uh, minor are in the units of 40 so 1400 uh, second one is 1440 and then 1480 it's slightly uh, on the upper side of 1480 let it be 1490 so you can say that load um, value corresponding to a settlement of 1.25 mm is 1490 kg okay so after finding this load value for the settlement of 1.25 mm now we can find the modulus of subgrade reaction okay so after drawing the load settlement uh, curve in excel we can find out that uh, for the settlement of mean settlement of 1.25 mm the load value is equal to 100, uh, 1490 kg okay so load corresponding to mean settlement value of 0 0.125 centimeter or 1.25 mm is 1490 kg okay since our uh, test uh, was performed on a plate of diameter 30 centimeter so unit load or pressure for plate radius of 15 centimeter is given as load divided by the cross-sectional area load is 1490 and cross-sectional area will be pi into r square which is pi into 15 square so unit load or pressure will be uh, kg uh, 1490 divided by pi into 15 uh, square uh, kg per centimeter square modulus of subgrade reaction for 30 centimeter diameter plate because we are performing the test on 30 centimeter diameter plate is given as unit load uh, divided by the settlement okay so it will be 1490 divided by pi into 15 square settlement is 0 0.125 centimeter so its value will be 16.86 kg per centimeter this is the modulus of subgrade reaction for 30 centimeter diameter plate and a test is performed on standard plate of diameter 75 centimeters so modulus of subgrade reaction for standard plate of 75 uh, centimeter diameter is uh, k will be equal to k1 into 30 divided by 75 so it will be 16.86 into 30 divided by 75 which is equal to 6.74 kg per centimeter will be the modulus of subgrade reaction for a standard plate of diameter 75 centimeter also this test was uh, conducted under soaked condition during the monsoon season so there is no need to apply the correction for subsequent soaking okay so this is how you can uh, calculate the modulus of subgrade reaction uh, from the load uh, settlement data i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will try my best uh, to answer your doubts okay and if you like this video you can uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned